people consider this half pipe contest her to lose. She is the one with the most technical bag of tricks, the most highly progressive rider of this year. Sarah Burke has not been able to deliver on her runs with those tricks. Will she change her strategy and back off her game plan or will she go for it? Tough to say, Trenton Painter up top, her coach giving her a last bit of information. Be fun to know what that was. Here's the left side, 900, well stopped. Great landing for Sarah Burke. She goes for the alley flat flats, 540 gets it. Coming now into the lower section of her super pipe right here. Will she drop the flare? Opts not to do the flare. There's the alley-oop right there. Will we see a 720 for Burke? Yes! So she is stoked with a strong competition run, different than the run she tried to pull off in runs one and two. Changes up her game plan. That is some smart strategy. Wow. That was what she needed to do. Very smart strategy. She keeps the alley-oop flat spin 540, which no other female in Super 5 action is doing. She lands it well out of such an enormous nine. And look at how almost inverted at that point right there. Very off axis. That is something the judges love to see. And here's the alley-oop flat spin 540. Puts it to her feet, just plants it. And the 720 down below, that was a hot run. I think Burke has done it. I've been wrong before, Delaney. Well, Sarah Burke, we're awaiting her scores. The current leader is sitting on a 93, and that is the French skier. Run number three comes in 95.33. Sarah Burke takes the top spot and the gold medal here at Winter X Games 2011 here in Europe. So there is a look at the realization by Anise Carado that she gets second. She is in the silver medal position now. Sarah Burke now realizing she is the gold medalist.